Welcome to the Weekend Toy Review. I'm Mark. This is Prime Toys Media, and today we're taking a look at The Crow from Diamond Select Toys. Box. The box. It's always a box. Back of the box is pretty cool, though. It gives you a little history about Eric Graven and talks about his appearance in the 9 to 4 movie, but enough of that. Who gives a shit? All right, let's take a look at some accessories first. Very cool. Okay, at the bottom, just whisper my name in your heart and I'll be there. That's a really nice touch. Nice detailed tombstone. One piece, doesn't come apart. Look good next to the Jason Todd one on the old uh, McFarlane year two, or the Hush one, either way. Got it. Didn't crawl. Hey. Oh, look at that. It's right on there. So clever. Yeah. Flying crow. A raven. Oh no, it's a raven. Extra hand, the hole in it. This is what we're here to see. Back up just a little bit. Well, not super stiff, but not super flimsy either. It's nice. Got the guitar. Let me know in the comments if you know what kind of guitar this is. Or if it's just some kind of weird generic. Paint's a little little weird on the bottom here. Like it didn't take when it was uh, made, but otherwise, pretty cool. Might have to do it with a light sanding, give it a fresh coat. The strap is a nice, flexible rubber material. Gotta be careful, I bet you these are pretty flimsy, but all in all, looks like it'll hold up pretty good. Drape that on over them. We can rock out. But for now, get off. <clears throat> Let's take a closer look. Cool face sculpt. It doesn't turn much with that hair of his. A little up and down. Diamond Select, not known for super articulation, but single elbow, good pivot. Let's see if we do this hand. Oop. Hey guys, hey, just want to say hi. How are you? Nice to see you again. Hey, hey, don't shoot, don't, ow. Ah, uh, ooh, ooh, hold on, come on, come on, look through. I see you. I see you. Kind of neat. I'll have to check and see if these pins are similar. Might be able to swap some of the hands with the invincible figures. Now, let's see. Can the arms come off? They should. To be able to get the coat off. Hmm. A little, a little snug. I'm gonna have to play with that. Maybe some hot water. Now there's not too many Eric Draven figures. I think there's another one from Diamond Select that has a throne that you can sit him in. Uh, obviously this one with the coat wouldn't fit too good. It's got good detail though. I do like the coat. You know, nothing uh, Nothing crazy articulation wise, but enough to get some cool poses. Upper, no, oh, there it goes. Just sticky. So, I do want to see if I can get these arms off. So I'm going to go pop him in some warm water and be right back. Alright, after some finagling, 
after some finagling. Uh, if you try really hard, you can get them off, but then it dawned on me that his shirt with these sleeves, which are jacket sleeves, wouldn't make any sense, and since I don't have an alternative set of arms, jacket stays on. Feeling pretty good. Go away to mount the bird. Got the hole for mounting, or it's just the bird's pooper, I'm not really sure. I would have put it on there. No peg done his arm. Hmm. That'll have to do for now. But overall, good looking figure. Uh, if you want an Eric Draven crow in your collection, oh, well, there's nothing wrong with this one. He's gonna look cool doing some uh, dioramas and some different looks. Uh, let's see, do we wanna see him with some other figures? Sure, why not? So like most Diamond Select toys, Scale's pretty good with the McFarlane figures, so there's a... Uh, there we go with Mortal Kombat Spawn. Same height there. Looks good, looks good. Both Creatures of the Night, back alley dwelling pools. We want something a little different. There's another popular character with the uh, another traditional nostalgic that's what I'm looking for iconic trench coat we got the Undertaker in WWE so so these uh, Mattel WWE figures scaling pretty good too he should be a little bit taller so that works and up crow there we go. So, like I said, nothing too in depth. I'll be taking some pictures and sharing and whatnot on the Instagram. So, uh, go follow me over there too if you want. And let me know what you want to see open next. Open toys old and new. But that's it for this. See you.